wondered what those weird looking codes are on the side of products. Well, Winston C is here to talk more about it. Thanks for coming. Thanks very much for having me. And well, we see them everywhere. We see them on storefront windows. We see them on uh, business cards like the one right here. And uh, this is a QR code or a quick response code. And again, like I said, they're everywhere. And we're here kind of to explain that today. Now, they, that's on the back of your business card, mm -hmm. I should say. So you created this QR code. How did you do it? You can do it online. There are many websites that allow you to generate your own QR code. So they're great for businesses, for students. And it's a great way to link real world material to the online world. Now let's talk a little bit about scanning these QR codes because you can't just all of a sudden use the camera yeah. on your smartphone or your tablet to scan them. You do need some type of app. So what apps do you recommend? Well, I have two great apps. There are different applications. And the first one is a very simple app and they're for all of your smartphones. So whether you have an iPhone or Blackberry, there's an app for that. So uh, the first one is called Scan Life, and we'll open that up right here. And it will use your camera, and you stick your QR code, and I'll demo that right here, and it will open up your website so really quickly. Neat. So this really is kind of part of personal branding. Like let's mm -hmm. say, like you said, if you're a student and you have a website and you want to kind of promote what you do for you, you're a technology journalist, then you can put these codes on, and it really kind of piques that interest, I think, in people. And and people see them, and it's that funny little square bug-looking thing, and it's a wonderful way just to really bridge that gap. Um, and uh, also you're going to show us the book too so you can scan products. Yeah so this other app is called Red Laser and it's a wonderful application because not only does it allow you to do QR codes you can also do regular barcodes the UPC codes and uh, we'll open that up as well and you can use the uh, barcode on the back of a book on a, on a t-shirt on, on many retail products and you can scan it and the wonderful part is many retailers are starting to allow you to uh, price match with it so you go up to them and say well the price at uh, store A is cheaper than store B so a lot of the stores are now matching that. I have to say uh, I love that you're able to scan it while it's sitting on this stand this is a really cool stand mm -hmm. from Griffin it's the uh, uh, A loop so you're able to actually see the camera so you can place any product behind it and really get all that information. It's a wonderful stand. Yeah it's very cool so uh, finally final word on QR codes are they here to stay is this really the future about how people are going to get information? Uh, well it is definitely the future um, and we're definitely seeing that gap that is trying to bridge that and really integrate within within the social media world because people are trying to learn about this internet and trying to see what ways that it can be really useful in the real life. All right, love it. And you're going to blog about this for us? Most certainly. All right, to read that blog on QR codes, all you have to do is head on over to our website at appcentral.ca. This CTV program is brought to you in part by Bell. With blazing fast speeds and coast-to-coast -coast coverage, you'll get the most out of your apps on the Bell Network.